Blackshear on a gallop, fumbles the football, the ball is free. That was Delarian Turner Yell down to make the recovery. Delarian Turner Yell is living the dream. Good knee high tackle, and that is Delarian Turner Yell. Getting to the NFL isn't easy for anyone, but Delarian's journey is nothing short of extraordinary. Ooh. <clears throat> that was an event. Um, <laughs> I call it the roller coaster birth. I was a premature baby, um, born at six months. He weighed three pounds, 13 ounces when I pushed him out. And once she did have me, uh, they, they came in and they told her that um, they, they were only giving me 24 hours to live. Once I did, you know, make it past 24 hours, they told my mom that my motor skills would be off. Once I got home, um, you could still see through my skin. I didn't have any fingernails. I didn't have any um, eyebrows, eyelashes, anything like that. My mom was only four feet tall, but she told me um, I was so small that I could fit into the palm of both of her hands. Despite the dire circumstances of his birth, Delarian had very few medical problems growing up. Miraculously, the only residual was childhood asthma. As he grew, like he was just no, just as normal as everybody else. Um, I always was scared that he was gonna be little like me, you know, that he was gonna have health problems like me. Turner Yell isn't the only fighter in his family. His toughness and unwavering spirit, as they say, he got it from his mama. Denise Turner is the definition of a warrior. In 2015, she was diagnosed with MS and lupus. My life changed literally in one day. I've had surgeries like every year um, because something comes up because of my body declining and I just push through. I, I have to push through. Witnessing her make ends meet through everything we went through, I kind of looked at her like, as a superhero. Like, you know, nothing's ever gonna happen. Like, the, despite what she goes through, she's always gonna make it out. Delarian saw his mom fight day in and day out, but growing up, he never knew about his incredible fight. Denise waited until her son was heading to college before telling him about his entrance into this world. So I didn't believe her uh, when she told me. I kind of felt like she was making it up just because, you know, she wanted to come up with a story because I was finally going off on my own. But once I did, um, you know, see the pictures and stuff like that, it was kind of like tough to, to really stomach, you know, at first. But then, what, like I said, what got me over the hump was when, you know, I knew that, like, if God brought me through that, he, I could make it through whatever. And he's knocked down by a pack of Broncos. Making it to the NFL is extremely rare under the best of circumstances, which makes Delarian's journey all the more astonishing. A three pound preemie given 24 hours to live, now carving out a football career among the best in the world, sounds like a far fetched Hollywood movie. But beating the odds is just who Delarian is. Yeah. What is it like for you when you see him step on that field? I always get I always get sentimental. My son made it. He he's living his dream. What's it like for you having her there with everything she's gone through? Right. Um, it's a blessing. It is it's a blessing, I say that much. I've always told her that because you know, I'll make it for her at the end of the day. And so for me to be out here uh, playing in the NFL despite everything that I've, you know, went through in the past, I'm I'm just grateful for it. Now he prepares for his next battle, overcoming a severe knee injury. But one thing is certain, Delarian won't just get back up. He'll come back stronger, just like he's done his whole life. Sometimes I I think that we go through certain things for a reason just to make us stronger for better things. And I feel like if I didn't go through the things that I went through in the past, I wouldn't be able to survive this, you know, because I, I wouldn't know how to handle adversity. 